Morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Professor Williams, and I'm here with Wanda to talk to you about discrete probability distributions. So, Wanda is looking for bones that she's buried in the backyard over the past year. And if she digs around long enough, she will find no bones, one, three, five, or six. And these are discrete occurrences because what we know is that there are no values that exist in between the whole number of bones. In other words, she only buries whole bones, and so we're only dealing with discrete observations. So she wants to know the expected return she's going to get on her digging efforts. If the probability of her outcomes, i.e. the number of bones she finds, is as shown on this discrete probability distribution. So what we know is that the probability that she finds none is 17%. Probability she finds one, 13%. Three is 36%. 5 is 25%, and 6 is 9%. Remember that just because we're dealing with a discrete probability distribution, the same rule applies as always for probability, and that is that all of these probabilities here must sum to a value of 1 because we know that something is going to happen. She'll find 0, 1, 3, 5, or 6. So in order to determine what her expected return is, what we're dealing with is the long run theoretical average. In other words, if she dug and dug and dug repeatedly in the backyard over the long term or long haul, these would be her outcomes. And so we're able to apply this philosophy or this theory of expected return as saying the long run average, if she went out there and dug long enough, this is what she would end up with. The way that we calculate expected return or long run theoretical average of a discrete probability distribution is we say each individual outcome of x times its related probability summed together. So remember the number of bones is x. x always represents our outcome. The probability of her finding that number of bones is the probability of x. So really all we're going to do is we're going to take the outcome of number of bones times the probability of finding that number of bones, multiply them together, and continue to add them all up. So what this ends up looking like is I have taken the x, the outcome, times the probability of x down here. So the probability that she found zero bones was 17%. The probability she found one was 13%. Probability of three, 36. Five bones, 25%. Six bones, 9%. So I took x times the probability of x, brought them down here, and I added them all together. So what we end up with is this theoretical long run average that says if she dug enough times and continued to repeat this digging, which would just thrill me in terms of what my backyard would look like, what Wanda knows is that over the long term, she would, on average, end up digging up three bones. What we can also say is that 
this long run theoretical average or expected value expectation of three is the same thing as the mean of a discrete probability distribution. So remember when you're looking at discrete probability distributions we're going to use the word mean to represent expected value of X or expectation or expected return so when you see terms like expectation expected return expected value what we really know is we are simply dealing with the long run theoretical average of a discrete probability distribution. So I'm going to run because I think that Wanda is digging up my backyard. Hope you have a great day.